all right guys today's video is going to be about this shop back right here this is about roughly a two-year update from the last review i did from it um just to show you longevity and how it's still performing and then also i'll throw in some things that i don't like about it and i do like about it and also if you should still go out and get it okay and i'm gonna show you what i'm working with today i got wifey's car again because it always gets dirty so I'll hold the camera in my hand and I'll record myself vacuuming it, showing the suction power. And I'll also show you the blowing. So right here, most shop vacs, they have a, the sucking and then the blowing. So the blowing part is, is what really impresses me about this vacuum. It's like almost like a mini tornador. You know what I'm saying? You can pull up to the job site or the detail and you put it in on the blower first and you just blow everything from top to bottom of the car because it's very very strong flow it's a very 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 strong flow you could use it to blow leaves to dry a car would i use it constantly probably not because it's putting wear and tear on a vacuum when you can have like a designated drying um blower but yeah it has that feature so i'll show you that as well So as you saw, yeah, it sucked it up pretty good. It still got good suction, pause but it works really, really good for two years later, you know, maintaining it, it works good. Obviously it's not gonna pull up that pet hair cause that pet hair is really wedged in there. I have to pull out the brush, but I was just showing you all on that loose dirt, but also halfway through it, uh, the, the vacuum hose did do that little suction thing. So I'm gonna turn it on again and I'm gonna show you how, what I mean, okay? All right, focus right here. <laughs> All right, so as to why it does that, I'm pretty sure I know why. The hose is getting old and it's just, the vacuum is just too powerful for it. For it. So it's time to get a new one, a new hose. Not a new vacuum, but it's just time to get a new one. Um, yeah, that's not really a big breaking point to not buy something, especially it's only started happening about six months ago. So I'm not really too worried about that. That shouldn't scare anybody away. All right, here we go. I'm gonna show you guys the blower part now. All right, so sometimes when you put the blower on, it blows so damn strong that it just shoots this uh, thing out. So you have to make sure you, you go down here and you turn it here so it kind of like locks it into place. So here, I'm gonna turn it on. I'm gonna blow it on these leaves right here. Let's let it focus. <laughs> Hey, it almost shot those leaves so quick I couldn't even catch it on camera. But yeah, I'll show you one more example that way in case it didn't come out that good, but let's. All right, so my front porch is a little dirty. I need to get this dirt out of the way. Man, it's so hot. I had to come inside, guys. But yeah, at a price point of $79, it's still a bargain. You might just be starting detailing or you might already have been detailing for a while and you're looking for a new shop back or your first one. $79 is not too bad. You get everything you need with it. You know, the first hose, a wet filter, and you get a, 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 a dry filter and a dust filter. I don't really use the dust filter because, come on, let's be real. But yeah, it comes with everything you need. And then if you're also buying it to be an extractor, which is also really good, I made a video on how to turn it into one. So check that out. I'll put the link in the description. Check that one out. But yeah, so you can get a heavy duty extractor buying the, the shop back for 79 plus tax. And then you go on Amazon and you can get you a, a, a fitting that you put directly onto your hose. And now you have you uh, an extractor for under a hundred bucks because the fitting only cost me $19.99 on Amazon. So it's, so it's a very good shop vac to use, multi-purpose. As you can see, it can blow. It has a 325 air watts. That's the rating 
of um, the blow that it has. So it's like I said, it's like a mini tornador. You could use it for that purpose. Is it as good as a tornador? Definitely not, but it's close to it. You can use it as a drying method for the wheels. You know, maybe you want to apply the tire shine very quick and you just, you know, or you forgot your 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 blower at home, which is actually really good. If you f forgot your blower at home, ah, look no further. You still got your shop vet. So that's another good reason to have this one. Um, plus two, longevity. All I've done is clean the filter maybe every couple details. You know, I don't, I'm going to be real. I don't clean it every detail. I'm like everybody else. I forget to clean it. And you know what I'm saying? So it does get very dirty. And when it gets dirty, you notice the difference that it's not pulling as much power. And the only downfall is, is the hose. To me, the hose didn't last as long as the shop vac. But if that's the only problem, hey, I'm buying that all the way because... You can always get replacement hoses from um, online, you know, or even Home Depot sells them too. And they sell kits. It's uh, like a detail kit and it comes with the little skinny, skinny nozzle at the tip. So that's really good. You just plug it into this one and you're good to go. You got a brand new hose. I've just been lazy and haven't bought one. <laughs> but other than that, yeah, it's a good shop back two years later and it's still working really good. It's a good investment for your business. I spent, I, I actually bought it back when it was $65 two years ago. So it went up. So look at that, $65. And I can't tell you how much money it's made me. It's made me a lot of money detailing. And I love it. I use it for multi-purpose. Sometimes I use it around the house too. So it's longevity is there. Price is there. You can't go wrong with this shop back. So check it out. And um, oh yeah, stay tuned for my mini series that's coming out. I'm going to be searching for the world's best uh, tire shine. Long as lasting, long as durability. I'm gonna make a mini series on that. So if you get to this far in the video, comment down what tire shine you use for your for your vehicles, for your detailing. Let me know and I'll review it.